Have you ever wondered, what's wrong with America? It began as an ordinary school day, and it was almost over when gunfire erupted this afternoon. We start this hour with a Fox News alert. At least a dozen police officers hurt after riots explode in Charlotte. More than two dozen people were killed during Sunday services at this small Baptist church. With the continual threat of war abroad and unrelenting terrorist attacks, along with senseless shootings and rioting here in the U.S., America has become a country in crisis. And many people are desperately searching for hope for a more stable and safe future. So the question begging to be asked is, what can we do to become the United States of America once again? Welcome to America Unscripted, a journey of discovery and a search for truth and hope as we take a camera crew out onto the streets of our troubled nation to record a clear, unscripted, uncensored view of the attitude, worries, and concerns of the American people by asking pointed, compelling questions and listening. No, I think it's just to continue with the, the ideas of the founding fathers of America, right. the inclusiveness, right. Right. coming to give everybody the opportunity to do the best they can. I think that is the best America gives to the world. Yeah. You know, everywhere in the world you go to, they say America, 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 everywhere, if you see, everywhere. So I think that kind of rule is because people come in here with nothing, some people with their briefcase. Yeah. and. The system allows them to be who they are. As far as you know, problems in the U.S. Uh -huh. between all the division, all the division is created, I, I believe, by the media myself. Hmm. Um, you know, between the blacks and the whites, and the, the Mexicans and the whites, and the, and the Muslims and the Christians. Right. To me, that's all perpetrated and sensationalism by the news media. We have to stop all the violence around against uh, each other because we're all the same. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. like yes, we have all different connected. skin colors, but honestly, we are all people of God. So we're I connected. Yes, uh, look at us, best friends right here. It would be to love more, you know what I mean? I, I know people like have their own personal issues and they feel like we're in, the, in this world where, you know, it's messed up, it's a lot of disasters, and it would just be to love more, extend a hand. Isn't it amazing what you can learn by simply asking questions and listening? This has certainly been an eye-opening experience for me, and I hope it has been for you as well. You know, the answers to some of these questions still resonate deep within me. Like the man from Nigeria who talked about exhorting us as a nation to keep the dream of America alive. And how America is still a beacon of hope and the land of opportunity for many people across the globe. And how China is just waiting for us to collapse. What about the golf caddy from Ohio? Kyle, who talked about the media controlling public perception and even playing a role in racial tensions and inciting violence. And who can forget Dre, the music artist from Hollywood. And when I asked him, is there anything else that you want to say? He said, I just wish people would love more, regardless of social status or the color of their skin. You know, it reminded me of what Jesus said when he was asked, what is the greatest commandment? After loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, do you know what he said? He said to love your neighbor as yourself. That got me to thinking, is something as simple as reaching out to others in need the remedy to uniting this country once again? God willing, in the weeks ahead, we'll continue this journey of discovery in search of hope and answers in the next edition of America Unscripted. Welcome to America Unscripted.